soon Target, one of the largest in America. What? What's up? Welcome back to another video. We're starting this one off at a Publix. So it's been 56th anniversary and it's been G case and this store looks like it is not recovered from 56th anniversary just yet. So as usual, we will return. There's so many of these small trucks in that shipper though. Let me tell you what. Moving over to the aisle. These are full over here, but again, this is stuff from previous cases. Nothing that we don't have, nothing that we want. They're all falling off like crazy though. So that's pretty much it. We're still waiting, still waiting, we're still waiting. I'm not really surprised though, I gotta be honest. Not really surprised. Monster trucks. There's a SpongeBob again. Oh, a Bowser. Oh my God, what the heck is going on? I don't ever drop this many. That's cool. I'd get this for Lisa, but I mean, it's Bowser. It's not like Peach or anything. If it was Peach, I would be obligated to do it. A couple five packs here. There's the new Drift. Don't want to pay $9 for it, but I promise you the next time I find it in a Target, we are grabbing it. Uh, what's this one? Retro Racers. That's cool. It's a Mustang and a Lambo. And then the Mopar set back there. The Flame set. I wonder if they're ever gonna come out with like a new Fast and Furious set with like some of the other cars. That would be really cool. Like I can imagine seeing Jesse's car in there. Look at this one, duck and roll in the scuba. That's actually pretty cool. Scrub a dub driver. What else we got here? An Indy car. I did never see the one with like the Volvo. I think there was a Volvo that looked like a vacation scene or something. I don't know. Am I saying that right? There's the tater tots, but honestly, I'm kind of sick of them. We've been eating them at work, and we all are just kind of over it. Moving on to another Publix. Oh, boy. Yeah, Publix is not our friend for a while now. Until they clear these out. I got so lucky on that initial MK's drop. I just haven't found anything since. Once again, we got the garbage can on deck, ready to catch the Hot Wheels. Imagine how many Hot Wheels have accidentally been thrown away. What's their aisle look like? It looks the same. <laughs> it looks the same. G case and 56th anniversary. And just some leftovers from previous cases. Uh, let's see, anything cool here? I do regret not getting that Airbus A320, I think it was, I saw in a previous video. I should have bought that. I should have bought that. We are now moving on to a Target. I'm running right over to the Hot Wheels to see what they have. The main lines, there's a treasure hunt right in front. Did they get GKs here too? That's funny, they did. We saw 2023's GKs at another Target recently. There's another, no, that's not a treasure hunt. That's the yellow one. That's the treasure hunt. So yeah, it looks like they also got an old GKs here. We're gonna go through this whole thing. I'm gonna go through it in a minute. Let's just uh, quick browse, make sure I'm not missing anything here. All right, we'll come back. Let me check this entire dump in and see what I find. All right, I looked. There's nothing, unfortunately. Oh, there's a treasure hunt here. Just don't want that. Don't want it, don't need it. I am dropping everything today. seen the new ones twice and it was in the same day strangely enough could go for some new cars I'll tell you what we are moving on to a Walmart all right so it looks like the dumping they had here is already gone yep from last year's MK so where the, where did it go I don't see it anywhere it is strange all right what do we got new transports are the same no premiums that I haven't seen. Still waiting to find the Boulevard Porsche. That's really the only one I want. Lots of neon speeders. Walmart. 
jeez. <laughs> oh man. This store got so many premiums and then it just kind of stopped. So these are all peg warmers. The only one that's not is the Golf and the Super, I guess. But the Brasilia, the Alfa Romeo, the Audi. Specifically the Alfa Romeo. That's crazy. Is there one Golf here? Yeah, there is, so. Oh, it looks like everybody's already got theirs. They're not interested in them. And the boulevards are hard to find. That Porsche is really nice. Now that I've seen it in person, I understand why I can't find it. Keep looking, though. I will keep looking. Never give up. When or when will we see N or M again? The Matchbox are always hard to tell if they're new or not because there's it's all like you know regular cars and work vehicles and vans and just normal stuff so you can't really tell unless you know what comes in the case let's check the dump bin all right the dump bin is overflowing with cars last year's m case these are all organized down here this is pretty much the same that we've seen the past few times we've been here just a mixture of old and new but pretty much have it all so we're seeing the same thing over and over again. Hopefully we get new stuff soon. Let's go to the other Walmart. Let's see what this store has. All right, I saw the dump and looked pretty full down there. There's a lady looking through right now, so we'll let her do that before we head over there. Looks like some LK stuff. And Speeder's still stocked. Never saw the Porsche in the store, the pink one. They're pretty low over here, so I wouldn't expect to see much in the dump in, but we'll go down there and check. And then premiums look the same here, so still no new boulevards. Waiting for that drop so I can grab that blue Porsche if I ever find it. I think I will. I usually do. I usually do. If you're new to the channel, guys, my name is Mike. I hunt Hot Wheels. And I try to recreate basically the same experience you would have walking into the store. Without knowing where things are going to be, when things are going to drop. And occasionally walking up on it. No way. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did that just really happen? What? <laughs> okay. Well, welcome to the channel. Holy crap. <laughs> That's so strange. Alright, let's check this dump in. That's a W right off the rip. Okay, here it is. How old is this stuff? How old is this? This is still last year's end case, which is what we saw last time we were here. It's just like, you go through this once, and then you come back a couple days later, and it's just like... It's mostly the same of what was just there, but it's like, do you really want to dig again, only to realize at the bottom that there wasn't anything different? I'm gonna take a guess and say nothing has changed. Mm, that's tempting. Alright, I'm gonna dig a little. Let's see what I find. Alright, I looked through the card destroyer 3000. And I didn't really find anything, but this is this is awesome. I'm so happy to have finally found this in the store. Is it the only one? It's so strange, it's just tucked off to the side like that. Alright, that's awesome. Let's go! We finally found the pink Porsche 911 GT3 Cup out of the Neon Speeder series on the pegs. Well, in this case, on the shelf. It was, it was actually just tucked down like that, which is crazy because literally this one was so hard to find. The other one that was really hard to find was the yellow version of this, which was in last year's Forza set. I struggled to find that too. And the white Porsche. So these Porsches just evade me and I'm sure many of you guys as well. I'm not really sure why it was chilling over there by itself. I kind of just grabbed it because I was going to see what it was and put back over where it belongs. But lo and behold, it is the elusive pink Porsche. 
yeah, that's awesome. I'm really happy to find that. And it's just interesting because I just had said that I never found it. So we got it and you better believe this is getting opened. I didn't do it in this video because I didn't want to spoil the surprise. But what I did do in this one is this guy here. This is the 65 Ford Mustang GT out of the Matchbox Muscle series that came out sometime last year i haven't really been finding new main lines so i've kind of been digging into the box of old cars that i had bought last year to do videos of opening them and uh, yeah so there's lots of cool cars in there that's why i've had a couple random cars like this and this recently that i opened because i don't really have anything else to open so i started going in there and in this video that's the one we get and this thing's really cool not much detail on it super stoked to have this you're gonna see it open in the next video